So here we are, and I'm Carol Starrett Frost with my husband Mark Frost. He will be channeling Seth for us in this lovely August evening, 2019. It'll take him a moment or two to get Seth to come in. You have some questions for me? Yes, we're going to be talking about the forecast for 2019 and at some point in the forecast you had been predicting that the negative media is going to begin a major fail this year. Now what meanings does that prediction hold for us? Well, some meanings. My projections, <clears throat> we've been talking about the negative media for uh, many, many years. Uh, essentially, the negative media is the mass media, the electronic media, the news, um, the magazines, the newspapers, um, the propagators of propaganda. <clears throat> and I say that uh, as a <clears throat> commenter on the way things have been for you for uh, many, many years. Mm. So the negative media is in a free fall at this time. Um, what specific issues do you think um, can we look to and notice that this is happening? Well, you can see it on your television programs, your news programs. They are becoming uh, polarized in their presentation of the news, the facts, uh, in, in the sense that as the negative leaders fall, fail, as your celebrities uh, become recognized for who they are, <clears throat> Uh, these television programs, the news and entertainment uh, will change. They will become even more strident in their portrayal uh, of what <clears throat> the news is, what entertainment is, uh, and all skewed to a particular perspective. Uh, one of um, an obedient servant. Um, I've been talking about the, the facts of life for humans in your system for some time now. Uh, the main dynamic uh, is a power over the average citizen. It's a feudal structure and all leaders, political leaders, uh, corporate leaders around the world uh, are involved in it. It is a uh, conspiracy <laughs> in the true meaning of that word. We expected when Mueller's report came out and it didn't really have much to offer in terms of bringing Trump down that maybe there would be a change in the propaganda and a change in the programming but then they just leaped into the idea that Trump was responsible for the mass shooting. So isn't there going to be some point, a tipping point, where they're no longer going to be able to hold it together? They, yes, the, the negative media, the negative leaders, um, the feudal rulers uh, are at a tipping point. They are uh, in fear at this time. Their lies are being found out by the average citizen. Uh, the average citizen then says, says to themselves, I have to tell the others. They become what I call a visionary leader <clears throat> in that they speak the truth and they act, they behave uh, for the highest good of everyone. Mm, it's the opposite of a negative leader uh, who acts primarily out of self-interest, uh, out of <clears throat> the interest of a, uh, it's a cliche, but the cabal, 
<coughs> uh, that runs the world. So, um, would you say that Trump has a chance of allowing the banking system to be reorganized and perhaps even end the Fed? Yes, I talked about this in the forecast. <clears throat> it is a uh, done deal, uh, to coin a phrase. It is something that has been in the works for some time now. Uh, and your visionary leaders are working behind the scenes um, to put in place the new system, which will be based on gold and silver primarily. Uh, this will occur in the next several months, from my perspective. Um, first, the average citizen, the unawakened, must come up to speed with what I call the awakening ones, the visionaries, you see. Uh, they must observe their realities and find the truth there instead of <coughs> become hypnotized, um, become sleeping um, as they have done so many times before in the past. Uh, so <coughs> the responsibility is for people uh, who are still sleeping uh, to wake up to what's going on around them. In my, in my books and forecasts, I talk about looking overhead to see what's going on, to see the chemtrailing, uh, to see the modification efforts of these negative rulers, to see what they're up to. If you look up and you see normalcy, Mm, you're still sleeping. That's a good indicator that you need to do some research to see what's going on around you. <clears throat> Did that answer your question? Well, I was going to ask you about the chemtrailing. I think I'll ask you one other question about... Um, I wanted to ask more about The Secrets Revealed, which is one of your more recent programs. Can you briefly summarize The Secrets Revealed for anyone who is not yet familiar with that terminology? Secret to be revealed. <clears throat> it's a dynamic of evolutionary consciousness, or what I also call all that is, uh, in that, in a very cyclical fashion, um, consciousness uh, renews itself. It uncovers. Uh, it awakens. Uh, in that process, humans uh, awaken also. Uh, humans awaken to <clears throat> uh, their issues. I suggest that each human has issues, reasons that are on the planet, uh, aspects of their personality that they're um, trying to hide usually. That they're ashamed of. Uh, and so humans of all types are awakening to uh, their issues around shame, uh, mistakes made, uh, things they're trying to hide from other people. Uh, so just as the movie star and the corporate leader is found out and uncovered in the media and made to feel ashamed, so too is everyone else. Your issues are rising up uh, in consciousness to be addressed. So what you've been stuffing and repressing comes up to be healed. Now our culture is <clears throat> one of shame. We have a continual idea that we should work harder even as we're having more taxes and whatnot laid on us. Um, is there a, like a simple exercise we can 
undertake to remind us to pull ourselves out of the concept of having to do more, 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 more for less and less and less? Is there some simple concept that we could employ during the day to help us get out of this mm -hmm. programming? There are many. Uh, one of my favorites is to remember to breathe. <clears throat> when you find yourself in fear, uh, when you find anxiety, uh, when you notice that things are not going your way in your waking reality, uh, you remember to take a deep breath. You know, this clears consciousness. It's a type of reset. And so I suggest that my students uh, breathe. Don't forget to breathe throughout the day. I also have a technique um, that I teach in which I ask each person to consider their first thought of the day after they awaken from sleep. What is it? Remember that as you uh, get out of bed, put your feet on the floor. What is that first thought? Uh, the idea is to have a positive thought. <clears throat> to begin the day mm. uh, in that way, moment to moment, you attempt to keep this positive thought, whatever it might be, to be loving, you see, uh, to be more active, let's say, to have, uh, to cultivate certain healthy habits. You begin with that first second of awareness. Mm. Over the course of a given hour, you'll find that you're uh, much more aware of what's going on around you. You're much more aware of the reality you're creating. Mm, is that helpful? That is very helpful. Um, it's hard sometimes to realize that we can actually change our life by waking up with a positive thought. Often if we just think of people we really love or things we really love that exist in our life, it helps put a good spin on the day. Um, those of us who are aware of the chemtrailing program that you've talked about and who are watching the videos that are made by One Pacific Redwood on YouTube are hoping that at some point enough activists will be able to figure out a way to stop it. It might be a case of having the people lead and then the leaders will follow. I'm noticing right now that the planes are spraying something that's only in existence for a few short moments, then it cuts off, then it cuts back on. So a lot of people think the chemtrailing is stopping, but I think they're just becoming more sinister about it. Um, do you have hope for us over the next few months? We really need California to um, have healthy trees again. There's so much aluminum in the soil, and over the winter rains, the soil uptakes it into the trees so that the droughts are prolonged and the trees are aluminized and then if there's a fire, the fires burn longer and hotter. We should be having a lot of rain because of volcanic activity. Are you going to be able to give us a prediction of when the sh other shoe will fall and the leaders will actually wake up to this? <sighs> yes, let me put it this way. You're just waking up. Um, as I said, this is a cycle in human consciousness similar to what occurred during the 60s. Um, it's a revolutionary spirit, but <clears throat> it's slow in its process, you're saying. Your awakened ones comprise about uh, eight to ten percent of the population. So you and Mark and the people in the Seth network are busy trying to wake, awaken others. It's a difficult task. The tipping point, however, is approaching, I believe, uh, in the sense that your uh, visionary leaders are preparing the population uh, for some major announcements. Um, I can't say too much about that. It's 
forming at this time. Uh, but you can look forward to um, a great deal of positive efforts uh, in the very near future concerning this uh, geoengineering project uh, that has <clears throat> spun out of control for many years now. Expect some announcements in the very near future. <clears throat> and the announcements will be about the geoengineering? Yes. Okay. Do you, can you clue us in as to who would make this announcement? Your leaders. Uh, made over an, uh, an emergency band frequency. Um, you won't hear it over the radio. You won't hear it. Um, you won't see it on your news programs. So this message will be given <coughs> through alternative media. Let's just put it that way. <clears throat> An emergency network. Does that make sense? I'm not sure what you mean, but I suppose we're going to find out. Is that what you're saying? Because I don't know what you mean by emergency network. That's it. It's in the works. Okay. All right. Um, and you've also stated the secrets revealed phenomena will continue to trigger people in the USA and all around the world. What are re you referring to? Just how will people be triggered? Oh, people are triggered <clears throat> when they see that the uh, negative leaders are being found out for their nefarious practices, their shameful practices. Uh, in, in that sense, though, <clears throat> the viewer is reminded of their own issues. That's what I mean by triggered. Uh, the television news uses this uh, as a way to um, <clears throat> keep the population quiet, uh, to keep you under control, to use fear uh, as a way to uh, keep you placed in that feudal relationship in which you look for answers on your television sets. Uh, you look to authority figures of all types to tell you what the truth is rather than relying on your own truth, which you have available to you at any point <clears throat> uh, by going within and asking what the truth is about any particular situation. Uh, you discover it. Mm. But first you have to awaken to this uh, mess that you got yourself into. Mm, I think I'll leave it at that. Okay, Seth. Um were, were there any remarks you wanted to make to wrap it up? No, I think that will be all. Uh, perhaps to say that you may visit our website and order sessions and books and come visit us next week uh, again for another episode of the, this program. And the website is SethReturns.com, and people can come and order readings, or they can order books, or some of the CDs that offer binaural beats and allow you to reprogram yourself to do any of the things you might want to do, like lose weight, regain your health, become healthy, wealthy, and wise. Thank you, Seth, for bringing us this information, and thank you, audience, for listening. Over and out. Mm, thank you.